It's perfectly written. So honest and raw. I just thought, how do I not, I, I want to do this. How do I not do it? It's a semi-autobiographical comedy drama about a stand-up comedian called May who lives in the UK and is in recovery, struggles with addiction and gets into a new relationship. It's a, it's about a relationship. Fine, it'll be great. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's rehab, you know? We're proud of you. Do you want to come in? Oh, absolutely not. Lisa's performance and what we knew she'd bring to it, because I think on paper, the character can be so harsh. And you know, having seen the comeback and tons of Lisa's stuff, we knew that there was going to be that empathy for the character and uh, the kind of vulnerability coming through as well. Because it's that's a tricky thing to play, I think, because it could the character could be a kind of caricature of a harsh mom, but she's actually just so absolutely petrified by life that it's nice that that came through. You know, this isn't a person who disapproves of their child's like certain choices, but the but about the physical well-being <laughs> is, is a concern. Through a lot of the series, my character's behavior is is erratic and crazy and so they're often dealing with those ex the external manifestations of that deeper stuff that's going on and um but what, what, what i hope is that it's self-critical and that it it shows that you have to take responsibility for that trauma as well and that you can the ripple effect of of what's going on for you inside can affect the people around you and and i guess it was important to joe and i my co-writer joe and i to explore yeah how much responsibility you have to take for your own stuff, especially in a relationship. How responsible are you for your partner's happiness? And the character has to also grow up a bit and start to, yeah, deal with how they're gonna manage it in the present. The definition that I always think of with addiction is that it's sort of, it's people self-soothing with things that are bad for them. And so, yeah, having the compassion and patience to sort of ask that question of what are you, what are you actually, soothing and covering up here and, and I'm here to talk about it and just being there to listen but also people have to want to be helped as well and, and get professional help as well.